everyone, Kaylee, your friendly neighborhood hairstylist here, and today I am creating some heatless curls with this spaghetti monster device. Uh-huh, this thing helps you to curl your hair, and I wanna see if that's for real. So this is the Octo Curl. It's made of microfiber, and it's basically a headband, and you have eight little sets of towels hanging down to wrap your hair around, and the reason that it's cool is you could braid your hair into these. You can wrap it around both, you can wrap it around one, you can bunch two sets together and wrap it around. Basically, you can create, hypothetically, any kind of curl or wave with this thing. So I wanna test this out and see how the new short hair one works. I've tried the long hair one before and I actually really liked it when I had long hair. So I'm gonna make Anna try that one out. Sissy, sissy. I have been preparing for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. And every time I see it, I'm like, what in the world is this? So I'm very excited to try it out. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> I can't take you seriously <laughs> like that. Yours is fancy. Yeah, so this is the original one. Oh gee, I can tell, it's a little loved. Yours looks more like Fluffier, new. it's brighter, it's got an adjustable band, yours doesn't. Well, let's get our hair wet. Yeah, let's get our hair wet and test this out. Oh, I forgot to mention that it comes in this cute little pouch. There's a ton of information on their website and their YouTube channel on how to use this. You can see it on different hair types from straight to kinky coily, and I love that. All right, so heatless curls. Ideally, your hair is 80%-ish dry, just mm -hmm. so that drying time is minimized. Right. What do you feel like doing, sissy? I'll try the braided way, I think. Okay. So then if you wanna do the beachy waves, this is the diagram for you. You're gonna use the two pieces together, mm -hmm. and then you braid with that as one of your pieces. All right, so I guess first things first, we'll, we'll do Anna Laura's. So here's one thing, is that I think you don't want it to sit as far back in the back. Uh, so it's almost like you gotta put it up here and put this part down here. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Remember the thing that we learned with heatless curls? We always have to brush our sections first. I think that applies to all hair types because if it's tangled and you put it on the thing, you get tangled pieces. Yeah. All right, so I'm splitting this into two. I was like, where's my third section? It's it's the octo curl. Everything's okay. I feel like this doesn't start until pretty late. I'm gonna do something else up here. I guess you can also just elevate it to the spot you want it to be in. It's harder to do when you're like all tall and stuff, but. I'm short. Kill me, I'm short. All right, I'm just gonna tell you, you gotta braid pretty tight to get my hair to fit on this thing. Yes, ma'am. Cause uh, I ran out of room. I'm thinking cause your ends get pretty wispy. I might just like wrap the last little bit around. Oh, I like that. Guess what? I finished this and I forgot how you're supposed to secure it at the end. They have little elastics to help you do it. Huh. Okay. Okay, I remember now. Let me consult my handbook. So you, f you kind of fold this over and then you take the thing uh. like it's a ponytail holder and you just wrap it around. And then you just make sure that the end isn't caught and it's not and you're done. Wow. With number one. I'm just gonna redo this part up here and see if there's anything I can do. I'm trying to move the hair almost horizontally across as much as I can. Uh, yeah, that's smart. Okay, yeah, so if you try to move the hair horizontally as much as possible, if okay, you don't have room. It'll fit. They do also make an extra long one, which, which would probably be better for my length. Yeah, that's funny because we looked at it and we were like, oh, it's probably fine. Yeah, I didn't think my hair was that, that long, but. <laughs> Love it. So this is probably the less intuitive ones as far as like wrapping hair around stuff. Right. Well, I will help you finish it up though. Oh, sweet. Yeah, full disclosure, it's actually morning right now. And so we're filming this to show you guys how we're doing it. And then we're going to be redoing it tonight before we go to bed. Because yeah. Kaylee's about to go get her hair colored. Yeah. So, you know, quarantine life. Obviously, everything's going to be safe. I'm going to be wearing a mask the whole time. Everybody's sanitizing. Like, it's crazy in there. I got my color done last week and no Rona anywhere. You're going to see me putting my hair on it one color. And then I'm going to show you the result. And it's going to be another color. It's magic. The Octochrome gives you highlights. <laughs> you could put two sets together so you have four pieces and you're braiding around them oh. and that would use up more hair so you would have yeah. less problem with the length and right. it would make the waves a little bit larger and right. looser which might be a move as well and obviously you have less braids to do then you know what you could hit this with a hair dryer for like 10 minutes and see if you want oh yeah I'll do that that felt like a marathon okay let's do my hair now 
So this advice didn't apply to Anna Loris because she was doing waves, but because I'm doing curls, what I'm gonna do just for the sake of the finished product is actually part my hair on the opposite side to what I normally do. And when I wrap this section on the Octo Curl, I'm gonna wrap it toward my face. That way it sits like this all night. And then in the morning, I can flip it over and it's all nice, it goes away from my face and it's more lifted than if it was to sit like this all night. You feel? All right, let's try it out. I have not tried out this short one yet, so let's see. I know that last time when I used the one that Anna Laura just used, I was using things to make this as tight as possible. So I've got it all the way tight. And I think that works because you see that it sits like up here really high, which is what I want because I want the curls to start really high. And I want to create a little bit more of a wavy curl. I'm gonna take my large section here, brushing it out, putting this back where it belongs. Okay, the microfiber grabbed my hair. Let's try this again. So far so good. And we're gonna wrap this toward my face. This looks nuts right now. But twisting the hair as I wrap it should hopefully create a little bit more of a wave. Alrighty, I got my first one in. That wasn't too bad. I've got to take much bigger sections of hair. Maybe I was wrong with this whole two sets. I don't know if that will work for my length of hair. Sorry, I have to change my mind because I think I actually can't do the big chunks. That's how it would have turned out, which is really pretty. Look at that. Ooh, that's a nice little wave. Yeah, so what I did was I twisted the hair as I put it on the curling iron. Oh, look at you. I you feel like that. You look like you used a waver. Wow. So Anna Laura hit it with a hair dryer just to go ahead and try to set things just to see generally yeah, if so we can, were on the right track. Yeah, and I like it. I think there's some of this that would be more uniform. When I let it fully dry overnight, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then I don't feel like I should spoil any more of it. But we love. Yes, we love it. All right. Here we go. Just as easy. Actually a little easier because you're not pulling so much hair into one location. There we go. Oh, I'm excited for this. That's gonna look so pretty. All right, I'm gonna try to pull this band forward now. There we go. And for these sections, obviously we have a lot of vertical space to cover. We've got from the band to the bottom of my hairline. So I'm gonna pick it up, brush it directly out so I can get it all together as much as possible. Pull it up as high as I can because I want this wave to start higher and then wrap. Alrighty, trying it again. All right, the front sections have been super easy. I'm mostly wondering about the back. Okay, now for the back. Let's see what I can do. So we've got our section. This doesn't feel quite as graceful. Got it all up and now we wrap. Oh my gosh, you look like an angel mermaid. Wow, see, not to spoil the review tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna do when I wrap it up tonight just put in a little like frizz controlling product. Yeah, I was about to say, I always recommend that. Just because you don't have two hot plates putting all your hair into yeah. line, so you want to give it all the extra hydration and silkening that you can. That makes sense. We'll see tomorrow, but I think it'll just be a lot more like defined tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure this will probably fall a little bit because I didn't let it like, I yeah. didn't get it super wet and I didn't let it fully, fully dry. But if you wanted to experiment on like, oh, I wonder what the braid would look like. It's true, you can do like a test curl. Yeah. So it would have to be your whole head. Exactly. Oh, I only have one piece left. I'm almost done. Flying. I wow, didn't even realize. Was that six minutes? Yeah. Wow. I yeah. did that in six minutes. You do have short hair and you have the little baby pieces at the nape of your neck that fall out. My general thoughts on those is that you can't see them. The rest of the hair covers it, so don't worry about them if they fall out. But you could also, hypothetically, I didn't even think about this, but you could do this like we did with the robe curls uh -huh. where you like kind of French around, like you keep picking uh, up new yeah, hair. Yeah, and that's one way that you could get the base of the hair. Let me do a French quick French. little demo of that because I, I think I have just decided that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because when I took mine out, one of these on this side that you had done, like one of these hairs was mm -hmm. going like up there. Yeah. And it looks a little weird. It, I mean, it calms down, but I think that's a good way to do it for short hair. Can everyone see? <laughs> so you pick up your section and you wrap it and then pick up a little bit more hair. Right below it. Mm -hmm. And you wrap it. And I guess it might be helpful to like start on one side and then like section this hair and clip it out of the way mm -hmm. if it's overwhelming. Ooh, that'll probably help you use the whole piece too. All right. That's like attached to your head now. <laughs> yeah, it lives there now. Yeah. You could just do that in the back if you want and then the side pieces, cause I'm a side sleeper. So I'll probably like put these up tonight. Right. And then these are all against your head. So it's not so bad to lay on. Love it. All right, well there's the, 
<laughs> well, there's how I'm going to put it in tonight. That's what you're going to do tonight. We'll yes. see how it turns out in the morning. So far, so promising. I'm really I'm excited. excited. This is going to be really, really Whoa. nice texture. And Kaylee will have beautiful highlights from this. <laughs> highlights not included in the after <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm already late for my appointment, so bye. bye. Okay, hello next morning. Good morning. I didn't film putting these in last night, did you? I didn't either, okay, but we can talk you through. Let's recap real quick. <laughs> I did this when I was like half awake. It took me like less than 10 minutes. I did oh, it. nice. Fine. Yeah, okay. how about you? I was pushing the clock too. I was pretty sleepy putting it up. It did end up taking me probably 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. to braid all of these. I got it all in. I ended up using this leave-in from Kenra, the Revive Complex. I used the Lone Croya blow dry, no surprise. And I used this Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream in mine. Yep. All right, well then this morning when I woke up, I took a little sneak peek and I realized that instead of wrapping these curls kind of like candy canes, like you see here where there's like lots of space, I wrapped them real close, kind of like Anna Laura's are. Yeah, I know, I'm worried um, about mine now that you're talking about that. <laughs> but because my hair is real short too, they were just like really boingy, like oh, really, really yeah. tight. So like Shirley was, Temple? Yeah, it was a few hours ago, so I decided to rewrap all of these guys. Uh. I mean, there's volume in there. I feel my roots being lifted away from my head, which I love. Also, like, this is perfect for you. There isn't a ton of root that's like straight and then into the curl. That's a big problem. I have a lot of time with heatless curls. Mm -hmm. And this just like, it blends perfectly. I didn't quite get my flip section perfect because this should be on this side, but right. it's curled toward my face. Yeah. So like, I would fix that. Also, you have to give it a little bit of Leniency because they just got highlighted. That's true. This is freshly bleached hair. Yeah. She's looking good for that. She is. Honestly, like, I like the kind of tight curly wave. Yeah. And I think maybe next time I try it, I couldn't quite do four because it was not enough sections, I felt. Right. But I think I could do three. And then mm. I would get five sections around my head with one extra little guy just chilling. Yeah. It looks like you have a lot of control over the curl shape. That's true. Which that's is rare. very rare with heatless curls. I really like this. Yeah, me too. Girl, how many heatless things have I tried that did not look good? So many. But all the ones you've done with me have worked out really well. We need to start getting crazier. Yeah, we do. So we've seen mine. You ready to see yours? Yeah. Wow. Oh. They're very short. Hit it with the hair dryer. We'll take all this out. We'll look at it and then we could redo it really quick. Okay. We'll okay. go do that. Okay. I think I'm going to pull out the heat just for like a couple pieces. Let me go grab a curling iron real quick. Okie dokie. So I realized that I don't have smaller irons that have a clip on them. So I purchased a three quarter inch, a half inch, and a one quarter inch from Amazon. I don't know if these are gonna be any good, but we're gonna find out. They were very inexpensive, but had good reviews. So maybe. This one's three quarter inch. I think it will work perfectly. I feel as though the curl overall has relaxed a slight bit since I took it out, which I don't mind whatsoever. That is my hair's MO. Really for the heat, I only feel the need right here. Because if I look at this and I take this part out, I like it. And then if I take this part out, I think I probably also need to do this because this part looks a little crazy. So that's all I really need to do. And to me, if you do a heatless hairstyle where you only need to touch up two or three pieces, saves you time and saves you heat, saves you damage on your hair. And I think in that case, it's okay to use a little heat. This cord is not long. How am I gonna make this work? You'd think extension cord would be the answer, but I don't have an extra one. Can I make it reach? Just barely. Turn it on. All right, degrees are in Fahrenheit. This little display plate is a little bit uh, wobbly. And now it heats up. So I think with products, I just wanna add some definition, a little bit of separation and pieciness. I don't feel like I need to add shine. There's actually some decent shine there already. My hair's doing good things. <laughs> All right, and this is already heated up. So I'm doing my faux waves technique with this three quarter inch iron, and it's giving me a really similar look, which is cool because then I have the method to match this heatless, but also it lets me know that this is a heatless way to do the same thing that I was doing with this. It's really exciting. <laughs> All right, now that I've smooth that I can tell that the ends are a little bit silly on some of these so I'm just going to like drag it over we're gonna do more of that <laughs> not so much that 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 was too much that was too much 
Happy medium, happy medium. There we go, happy medium's achieved. Same thing over here. Oh, I remember, I wanted to fix this one part up here. It just looks a little flattened and weird. So I'm just gonna do one little curl at the base and that's it. We're not putting heat on the rest of the hair. We're just using that to disrupt the funny little that was happening. I feel like because this is loosening up a little bit, here she goes. It's the last piece, I promise. <laughs> gonna stop there, I think. So I'm gonna hit it with some of this Bumble and Bumble Sumo Liquid Wax Finishing Spray. I love it. Thank you, I do too. I'm gonna hit it with some hairspray just to make sure. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Can't believe this is heatless. It looks so good. Thanks, thanks very much. I love it. All right, okay, take okay. mine out so I can stop looking crazy. Whoa. This one looks pretty because she's a nice big E yeah. section. I was thinking that when I sectioned all of my hair, I was like, I don't need this many sections, but I could definitely see how someone with like a lot of hairs on their head mm. could benefit from this. That makes a lot of sense. All right, Princess Angel Mermaid. I'm literally gonna need a crown on top though because I'm about to have a hair on my head. Well, that's Ooh. why you, you flip your hair to one side. This is fun. My helmet. <laughs> wow. This is more like pulling it apart than like picking it apart. I'm using a single finger. We don't want to activate frizz. Pick your side. Choose Use. your character. Oh, okay. See, less helmet-y already. I like it. It's like very out of the norm for me, but I really like it. I'm definitely gonna need to touch these ends. Wow. See, my little hairstylist brain, I'm like, I see it, I see it, I see it. We're so close, I see it. All right, what do you see? Well, mostly I'm seeing that the ends are throwing everything off and making it look even tighter. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this from my faux natural waves video. Oh yeah. See that? Yep. Oh, that does look a lot better. Once we like tone down the hairiness. Yeah. I think that'll be it. You wanna try this side? Sure. I'm doing a different technique. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, okay, look at me. I like it. I like that it's different textures, like it's yeah. tighter and then looser. I do too, actually. I actually really like this. All right, I'm taking a little bit of Kenra hair texturizing taffy over your ends. Oh, I love the smell of it. Pieces look really straight at the end okay. compared to the other side. Let me pull out the half inch curler for it. I think that might be what we need. We're going for perfection now. <laughs> what Hot Tools doing? Anonymous. Can you just go there? Yeah, I just want to be a curly girl. You know, if you do the curly method, you uh, can't use heat. I do know that, yes. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we stopped there. We're done. Unplug it. Okay, that is the Octo Curl. I loved it. Girl, that is that was some crazy results. Can you tell? Okay, so I think we did have to redo some of the Anna's pieces a couple of times because I was using the wrong size curling iron. But once we got that, it was literally like 90% heat. I mean, 90% heat was 10% and then, heat. And then I would say mine was like 95 to 90% yeah. heatless. Like these are better results, especially in the back than I get with the curling iron. And it was heatless. Yeah. It looks really good in the back. Like every piece of hair is hit. I know a lot of times you skip the bottom lines because you're like, oh, nobody sees it. But now I'm like, well, maybe they do. <laughs> like, I don't know, this looks Called really out. good. <laughs> I'm really into this though. No, me too. Because like, this is a curl that you love. It is. And you would be able to do this again, and especially if you didn't have to like, go through your entire morning routine with it in or whatever, it would be yes, even better. That would be, that would be great. I love how like, versatile it is though. The fact that like, the same tool, I mean, mine was longer, but the same tool can get you such a wide variety of heatless curls. I feel like you do not get that kind of control over curl often. That's true. Heat. Especially with one device. Yeah. No, that's insane. That's why like we have like a thousand curling irons to get all of these different results. That's true. Also, I did do like a traditional like spiral curl mm -hmm. that you get kind of with like the robe tie method. Right. Back in 2018 when I first bought this. So I'll put those pictures up here. Really cute, really great. Could totally do that. Uh, but I love the results here. Yeah. And it also works on pretty much every hair type. I think actually for people whose hair is naturally stick straight and doesn't like to curl, mm. heatless curls tend to work a little bit better because here's my theory. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hair school, let's go. Typically, 
when you have a hard time curling your hair is because your cuticle layer is really thick and robust and healthy, which is good. Mm. That's why my hair used to not curl until I put bleach on it, ah. wore down the cuticle layer, and now it'll curl. <laughs> so it's harder for the heat from a curling iron to get all the way into your hair right. and make those changes in the hydrogen bonds. Mm. But the same thing that happens when you use a curling iron happens when you get your hair wet and then dry. Oh. And the water doesn't have any trouble getting through your cuticle. So. Wow. So it actually would do better then. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, that is science. Science. And then I've also seen this used on people with like 3A through 4C hair. And it's super good on those hair types as well. Because you can either use it to get like a stretch out or a twist out or whatever. And it just, it's a lot more control in right. the whole heat list thing. I think that we're finding across the board. Right. But I like that you can definitely look up no matter where your hair type is, you can see this being used. and. That's just always something that we love to shout out. Way to go, Octocurl. Way to be like the most universal hair tool ever. I mean, I feel like a QVC commercial at this point because I'm, I'm real sold on it. Whenever we like something, I'm always like, oh, people are going to think it's sponsored. Unsponsored. Not sponsored at all. It's $25. What the heck? That's cheaper than most curling irons. Yeah. Okay, do yourself a favor and get you one of these. Yeah, get you a spaghetti monster for your head. I promise you, you will look insane when you have it in. But it, it's so beautiful at the end. I expected it to go well. It went better than I thought. It went way better than I expected. Your hair looks so good. You're going to the beach this know, weekend. It's so and you're perfect. gonna be such a babe. I'm gonna bring this thing with me. Scott, you're gonna have to get over it. <laughs> Sorry, it's my new life. I have to recommend this product. If you are trying to get into heatless curls, if you already love them, whatever, it's not expensive, it works well. Mm -hmm. There's so much versatility and so many tutorials, so. Yeah, again. Really, the world is your oyster. Not sponsored at all. We, this is just a glowing review. Yeah. Like, they yep. did great. Blew it out of the water. Well, with all that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button to help support the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and join the Bradaholic family here, here on, on Kaylee, Kaylee Melissa. Melissa. And all of y'all can hit that bell icon to be notified every, every time, time I post a new video. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Guess on Fridays. Yeah. If you haven't guessed that, it's been Fridays for like a long time yeah, now. Yeah, so you really should know that yeah, by now. Yeah, if you know us, you know that. that. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it for today! Whether you're old or new or a casual lurker. Thank you for spending time with us. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye! Wow, I'm wow. so little! Hello! This is up for my height. You fit in this frame! I look like... My name is Kaylee Melissa. This is... I'm seven years old, and I like to braid hair. Uh-oh. Catch on fire. Spaghetti fire. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see my nails? That was so good.